Trimming your dog's nails is an important part of healthcare, of caring for them. And uh, I know it's something that our students mention is a stressful process. I know that you guys here on our YouTube channel have mentioned that you know you get a little anxious uh, when it's time to trim your dog's nails. But in today's video, I thought I'd sit here and I would give you this amount of tips in this amount of time to help you have a less stressful nail trimming process. I'm Ken Steep. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Here in our training facility, we've helped more than 100,000 dog owners with the same dog training challenges that you have. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. If you only bring out the nail trimmers when you're about to trim your dog's nails, there's gonna be a little bit of anxiety associated with that. If the only time that you handle your dog's feet is when you're going to be trimming their nails, then you really need to change that routine. So Hippie doesn't love getting her nails cut, she tolerates it. So one of the things that I often practice is just a little word association with just letting her see the clippers, yes, and then simply getting rewards. So I don't want her to think that every time I bring the clippers out, I'm gonna clip her toenails. I want her to learn that sometimes fun, sometimes fun things happen. Yes, good girl, okay. I'm gonna take one step further and I'm just gonna hold her paw up. Yes, I'm just gonna feed her for that. And then I take the clippers. Yes, good girl. Remember your good timing? I need to make sure I say yes when my hand's actually holding on to her paw. So I'm gonna lift her paw again. Yes, good girl. I'm gonna hold the clippers up. Yes, good girl. What I'm looking for is that she's not trying to pull her paw away or nip and bite at me. I want her to be calm. Good girl. I'm gonna try the other paw. Good girl. I'm just gonna hold it for a second. You mind your business. Yes, that's excellent. Good. Yes, excellent, good girl. And that would literally be the extent of my training session. I wouldn't actually clip her toenails. I would just do a couple seconds of really fun, high value rewards, letting her snip and see the clippers, and then call it quits. Do their nails at dinner time. If you can take advantage of the fact that your dog's hungry and they're going to be much more focused on the food than they are on the fact that you're clipping their nails, then take advantage of it. I mean, these situations are going to naturally occur during the day and a great time to take advantage of that is a meal time. So clip your dog's nails and you can reward them using some of their dinner. Here's a tip for those of you who struggle with cutting your dog's back nails. Hold the paw backwards. This way you'll be able to see the underside of the nail. This is also really helpful for those of you who have a dog with black nails. You can actually see the quick as you're cutting those back nails. This will allow you to trim that nail confidently. You'll have lots of control of your dog. The other thing you can do when you're holding that paw in this position is that you can brace your dog in between your legs. This will uh, reduce the amount of movement that your dog can do and it'll just let you see that nail so clearly clearly that you can make the trimming process much, much easier for those back paws. If you have a dog with long fur over their toes, wet paws can make a world of difference. Now there's a couple different ways that you can get your dog's paw wet, but it's going to be really helpful. The other thing that's helpful is if your dog has wet nails, especially if it's something like you've gone for a walk outside, your dogs have just been swimming, those nails will be a little softer and it will allow you to trim them a lot more easily. So I have a bowl of water here. I also have a face cloth. Now you can simply put your dog's pot in the bowl of water if they're comfortable with that, or you can even just take a wet uh, cloth, make it wet, and then you can apply it to your puppy's paw. And I'm just gonna wet his paw a little bit here because he has tons of fur right around his nails. So once the uh, fur is wet, I literally can just push it off to the side and you'll see it just stays in place. And now I can expose those nails and I can cut them much more easily rather than trying to hold the hair back and do everything all at once. You can see I can just peel it to the side, it stays there perfectly, and then I have a much easier job of clipping his nails. Something as simple as putting peanut butter in a food bowl or peanut butter on the backside of like a frisbee or, or a disc will allow you to uh, focus your dog's attention on that thing, especially if they love peanut butter. Now, uh, for those of you who have a dog that's a little bit stressed, this is a great one because it, it takes them some time to, to eat all of that peanut butter while you can confidently clip away on their nails. And once they're finished the peanut butter, I want you to break, the, break off the process. You know, you stop trimming, maybe you reload uh, uh, that disc or food bowl, and then you can get back into the trimming process. But this is a great one for dogs who are highly food motivated. Good lighting is really helpful. So using something like a headlamp. Now this is a, a handy little thing that we use for all kinds of reasons with our dogs. Um, I'll 
I, I suggest that you check out you know, your local hardware store uh, and grab one for yourself, but I'll actually list a link in the description below to this headlamp because it's so handy for cutting dogs' nails. You know, I always suggest, and I have suggested in the past in some of our nail trimming videos, to have a well-lit area, somewhere like your kitchen might have great lighting, maybe it's your bathroom. But having something like a headlamp on or using something like your cell phone light can be so helpful to visualize where the quick is in your dog's nail. Now this is our oldest dog, Funky Monkey, and I have a couple tricks that I do when clipping her toenails. Uh, she has very, very black nails, so I actually do a bunch of things. I put the food out to keep her still, I lift her paw up backwards so I can see really easily, and I turn my headlamp on to high so that I can see that quick inside that nail as best that I can. So I'm just gonna put my bowl down, I'm gonna get my clippers ready, I'm gonna stand her up, good girl, hold her thing back, adjust my headlamp, and then I can clip. And with her, I usually just do a couple, Hold her still. And then I let her have some of the food. Yes, good girl. Get that. Good. And then we try again. Good girl, okay, come here. Right here, stand. Yes, wait. Stand on the thing though, so I can not make you move. So I just sort of flip her paw back, clip, clip, and then take a break. Let her have a couple treats. Good girl. Trim your dog's nails often and take off tiny amounts each time. We actually have one of our trainers who has Toenail Tuesday and she sits down with all of her dogs and takes off a little bit of nail each time. This is a great approach because what actually happens is that a vessel in the quick inside the nail actually recedes a little bit. You also run much less of a likelihood of cutting them, of, of you know damaging that vessel and them bleeding all over the place. It's also quite a painful process. So. Incorporate nail trimming into your weekly routine or maybe you do it uh, two times a month, something like that where you take off smaller amounts rather than waiting until, oh boy, we really need to trim these nails and taking off larger amounts. Now this was the condensed version of a nail trimming video, some quick tips to help you to be successful, but if you'd like a little bit more deeper look, uh, even a step-by-step -step approach to trimming your dog's nails, especially if they're a little stressed, then make sure you click that card right there. On that note, I'm Ken, we'll see you in the next video. Happy training.